Welcome back, everybody. Bison Video Blog, down to the final two of our top indispensable players for 2017. This is the last offensive guy. I don't know if I'm giving it away right away, but it's probably pretty easy because you clicked hmm. on the link. Who could be number one? That's hmm. the quarterback in Easton Stick, now starting his third year as a starting quarterback, a, just a junior, Jeff. Early part of 2016, really, really, really good. Middle part, not so much. And I would think, okay. So overall, I would say he had a decent 2016. But why he's so high on our list is because what's behind him is so inexperienced. Hey, look, I like Cole Davis. I, I really do. do. I, I think he's a good player. But Easton Stick has 25 career games played. And how many starts does Cole have? He has zero. zero. So if something, God forbid, would happen to Easton, I don't think the cover is certainly not bare. I just, Cole's is not experienced. I mean, that's just the only bottom line about that. He's been around the program, and I, I like the kid, yep. and I think he's you know, a high-character dude. But Easton Stick, again, he was 8-0 when he came in, of course, as a freshman. So that got off to a good start. But here's the deal. He's got to get this passing game going I, right I'm, there. I'm, yep, I'm, because early on, the deep ball to Erzendowski was there. It was there against Charleston Southern. It was there against Illinois State. But, Jeff, it vanished, I want to say, the time around South Dakota State. And then this started happening. Yeah, what was where that? Where he had this interception against Northern Iowa. He had this one, another underthrown ball at South Dakota that I think really mystified what was going on. Now, we did find out he was battling a bit of a back injury. I think he got better as right after the bye week before the playoffs started. But the Bison passing a game be, passing game needs to be better in 2017 and that's why Courtney Messingham is here. Well the day Courtney Messingham was announced as the offensive coordinator and one of his first I think orders of business yeah. when he got on the press conferences and it was as Chris Kleiman is really I think started this conversation is we need to get a better passing yeah. game. I mean that's not news to everybody who watches games but they need to find other ways and Chris Kleiman said okay well, you know what we're going to try to you know, tweak it a little bit anyway, even if Tim Polisic was still, still here. here. Yeah. It's a West Coast offense. We're going to try to do some different things, and whatever that may be, we'll see this year. But they needed to find out a way, and they need to find out a way to really get that passing game to, and especially on third down. Yes. you got to be good on third down. They were down. totally ineffective, I thought, Brock on third Jensen down. was so good on yep. third down his last especially two years. Especially his senior year. Yeah, you're right. Junior and senior year, he was phenomenal on a third and six to so that Ryan Smith for seven. So when Easton Stick, going from his sophomore to junior year, his biggest point of improvement has to be third down yeah. completion percentage. Do you think... Does that make that No, you're absolutely... I, I don't <laughs> doubt it. He ran the ball 113 times last year. Does that number go up or down in 2017? No, I don't... You don't want to throw I him think out it goes there down. It goes down. He's yeah. not going to run it the first two games, or at least two out of three. Yeah. Eastern, he may get a few carries. Uh, why would you throw him against Mississippi Valley State and throw him up the line? No way, was right. what I meant. It would be, I mean, that's not going to happen. Seven rushing touchdowns last year. He was the third leading rusher on the team in 2017. He's got when, the wheels. I... He's still, yeah, you're right. He absolutely does. He is quick. Uh, I don't think they run the ball with him as much. I think the weapons they have now with Dunn and Bruce, I think Bruce Anderson's due for, and we could have had him on our list very easily, I think, as well for a, for a big time 2017. But there's so many backs. So I mean, you're right. So in, the word in, indispensable. indispensable. It, uh, here's the thing with me. You hit the nail right on the head on third down, is the ability of the big play. We saw the big play in games one through four last year. You didn't see it from games 9 through 14 at the end of the season where, where James Madison literally had 10 guys in the box saying, we're going to dare you to go deep, and NDSU couldn't do it. And that's late in the year. Right. So late in the year, you think your passing game really has to be on target. Now, obviously, it's been a, it's been a focus yep. in the offseason. You know Easton's worked on it. I mean, that's just yep. the way that kid is. He's, he's a great kid. He's... You know, uh, we say it a lot, you know, the high character type of, of model citizen. He has become the leader of the Bison offense. There's no doubt about that. And that happened probably the Youngstown State game in 2015 when they were down 10 points in the fourth quarter. And it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to throw with Carson Wentz with some yep. Eagles one day, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, I will say that's not all on him in terms of the big play because I think the receivers have to get open, too. And I don't, we don't know what Desmond Kane is going to bring to the fold or Sean Engel. But we talked about them earlier this summer with a healthy Darius Shepard and R.J. Zandowski. He's got the weapons, Colpec. They're all talented enough to be able to go downfield, I think, and make a play. You're right. And, and we've said that. I don't think the receivers did a really good enough job of getting out. Getting, out, getting space. And we're, we've been so. told that by the coaches, yep. too, that they need to get better at getting open. Easton Stick, 
just a junior, but number two on our list of the top indispensable players for 2017.